Hey everyone, it's RiseGood007 and we're back with another video and today we are going to talk about one of my favorite topics and more importantly, one of the leaders in this topic, SpaceX. So if you don't already know, SpaceX is a company owned by Elon Musk, who also owns a few other small companies you may have heard of. So SpaceX was founded back in 2002, but within this week, they're going to actually launch their very first astronauts, Robert and Douglas. These guys have been on previous missions, maybe you've heard about them. So on May 27th, 2020, SpaceX is targeting to launch both astronauts on top of a Falcon 9 rocket. So they're going to launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, hopefully with no delays, at about 4.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The one thing I like about this most though, is that the astronauts will be dropped off in a NASA decked out Tesla Model X with the Falcon wing doors to greet the rocket, which is which is really cool to me. But if the unlikely happens and there is a delay, they have backup dates for this Saturday and this Sunday, currently of me recording. SpaceX says their live stream of their launch will start four hours ahead of the launch, so probably around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But the main reason why this launch is so good for SpaceX is that if it's successful, SpaceX will now be certified to launch humans and that can help us go beyond and further with just SpaceX. You might not know, but the last launch in the US was in 2011 that launched at least humans. And that was the space shuttle mission, the last space shuttle mission. This means that it's almost been a decade since the US launched human spacecraft. So we've literally just been relying on the Russians since 2011 to get our astronauts to the ISS, which is a long time. Who really won the space race? But for SpaceX to be sending astronauts this Wednesday, they've had to go through a lot of tests with NASA, including when they sent their Dragon capsule to the ISS, way back on March 2012, unmanned of course, and when they performed their use of the launch escape system and the rapid unscheduled assembly of their Falcon 9 rocket. Of course, this time I'm hoping it won't end the same way. <laughs> so if all is successful, the Falcon 9 rocket will land on a drone ship out in the ocean to be recovered and refurbished. And just recently, SpaceX lifted up the Falcon 9 on the launch pad, ready to lift off. They carried out a successful static fire too to make sure that the Merlin engines and everything else are ready to go. I love seeing that bridge over to the Dragon capsule, to seeing that over there ready for people to walk over and go into the capsule. It's just like, it's so cool. So more on the Dragon capsule. This capsule was made by SpaceX and is meant to carry up to seven passengers to space and back. In the event of emergency, the Dragon capsule will fire up its Super Draco thrusters located on the sides and boost it about half a mile away from the rocket in less than eight seconds. Originally, SpaceX was just going to land the Dragon with a propulsed landing, just like their Falcon 9s, but they went through the easier and quicker route of just using parachutes. If they actually went with trying to fire rockets to slow it down and land it, it would have been years and years until they got certified by NASA and we could actually see that. So by using parachutes, they're using six parachutes, two for orienting the capsule just after re-entry, and four more for slowing down the capsule for a soft landing in the water. Now talking about the Falcon 9 or Falcon Block 9, you may have seen it land a few times or so. I mean, it doesn't seem that often. Maybe with its uh, sibling too. SpaceX has currently launched 83 Falcon 9s and landed almost half of them. Of course, most of those failures were in the first few years of SpaceX and the Falcon 9. The Falcon 9 uses, well, nine Merlin engines for around 1.7 million pounds of thrust. I don't know what that means, but that sounds like a lot. But enough about the rocket though. Look at those suits. These suits are custom designed by SpaceX to help their astronauts aboard the capsule stay protected and safe. The helmets are 3D printed and come with gloves specifically made to work on touch screens as that's literally the only buttons and things you can touch in the capsule. It also comes with a flame resistant outer skin and hearing protection built in. You can actually check out a cool game on SpaceX website where you can fly the Dragon capsule through space and try to dock to the ISS yourself. I'll leave a link down below as long as all my sources as well. I hope you guys can join me on May 27th to watch this amazing flight with me. This, this means a lot to me as I love space and I love seeing that the US is starting to launch astronauts from US soil again. I hope you enjoy the flight as much as I will. And anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video and want more SpaceX news, comment down below. And if you actually made it to the end of this video without cheating, please give this video a like. It helps me out a lot to get through the YouTube algorithm and to show it to other people who would like this video too. Anyways, bye.